guys, I'm Ranger Tina, and welcome to Go Outside! Hey guys, for this series, you might wonder why sometimes I'm inside and sometimes I'm outside. It's because we have some indoor parts of these activities that will then encourage us to go outside. So today's nature activity that we are going to do is nature bingo. All right, so we are going to create some nature bingo cards of different complexities depending on how much you like to draw. And then we are going to go outside and try to get a bingo. All right, so all you guys need today for today's nature activity is some paper, some markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have around, and then a list of different outside things that you can find, okay? So there's a printable copy of this list on our website in case you need some ideas, but if you can think of a whole bunch of outside things too, you don't need this list, you can just start creating. So to create your grid for our nature bingo, you're going to choose what size you want to do. So you can do a 3x3 three three size, a 4x4 four four size, or a 5x5 five five size. So for today's example, I'm just going to start with a 3x3 three three to make it a little easier on us. So I'm going to pick nine different things off of this list here, and I'm going to draw them on here. So first what you want to do is you want to pick the item that's going to go in your center tile. So I always like to do the sun in the center for me. So I'm going to go about halfway on my paper and I'm going to start with drawing a sun. Alright, and so then after that, I'm just going to choose eight other items to place around my sun. One above, one below, one to the side, one to the other side, and then diagonal as well. So I'm going to fill up my grid of three by three with different outside items. So when you're all done, you'll have kind of a grid like this that you can play nature bingo on. If you'd like to also label what each square is, you can do that too. I'm going to do that really quick just to help me remember what each drawing represents. Alright, so once you've finished with your bingo card, the next step is to go outside and try to get a bingo. I'm going to try for a bingo now. Let's see what's around me in nature. We got a tree right behind me, so I got this box done. I think, oh, yeah, here's the sun right up there. I'm going over here, and all that's left on here is a bumblebee in order to get a bingo. I wonder if I can see any bumblebees around here. Oh, whoa, look at this bumblebee coming my way. There's a bee, that's three in a row. I have myself a bingo.